You better get your life together. What are you doing with your life? Do you even have a career yet? What's your 10 year plan? You know, you're getting older. When are you going to settle down? You need to settle down and get married. You better get your finances in order. You better find a career that makes money. Ah, uh, you're just not quite there yet. I'm not smart enough. There are so many others who do it better. I need to lose some weight. I'm just not good enough. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about how to detox properly. We're focusing on how to detox your mind. Now, what does that even mean, detoxing your mind? As you might have guessed, it's about moving out your negative thoughts and anxieties, all of your worries. Now, speaking of moving out, I just moved out yesterday. And before that move out date, I was full of all kinds of worries and anxieties. Two weeks ago, I had no idea where I was going to live. Kind of wondering, like, when is God going to answer? I mean, the days are counting down. It's like after two weeks, then one more week. And then luckily, I did find a place. And in the end, it all turned out well. But that process of waiting and not being sure about what was going to happen, having the fear of the unknown, this brought me so much anxiety, so many sleepless nights, and feeling kind of depressed slightly of just not having any control over what was going to happen. And a lot of our anxieties stem from just the unknown, fear of the unknown. And it can be about our future. A lot of the times it's about not knowing what our future career is, not knowing who we're going to get married to. It could be how are we going to pay off our student loans or whatever debt we are in and retirements, or all of our finances. All these things are things that bring worries to us and it's all regarding the future. But then we also have the past. We can worry about the trauma that happened in the past and letting go. Like, how do you let go of these things that brought so much pain to you in your past and you're still holding on to those memories that were so harmful for you? You feel traumatized from it because it really it makes up who you are, your identity of those past events that happened. And we really have to learn how to let go of the control of the future and also letting go of those things of the past and try to learn from those situations and see how we've grown from it. In Luke 12, 22, Jesus says to his disciples, therefore, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, about your body, or what you will put on. He says this because he knows that worrying is not going to do anything for us Another thing that causes stress in our lives is trying to live up to other people's expectations. We want to please other people, but no matter how hard we try, there's always someone that's not very pleased with us. But instead of worrying so much about trying to please and win the favor of others, we should focus more on our core values. Live by the convictions that you have in your own heart and the convictions that have been given to you by God. When we seek God's will for our life and not try to follow the worldly trends and all the expectations that society places on us, then we will have so much more peace in our heart because God knows ultimately what is best for us. But the world, it's full of self-serving, self-pleasing people that just do things for their own gain. And another thing is a lot of times we compare ourselves to others. When we do that, it takes a lot of joy away because if you're trying to compare yourself to someone that's better than you, then you always feel like you're less than that you're not good enough and we just have to know how to really change our thinking instead of thinking about 
what is everyone else doing? We should think about what are we doing and how are we actually growing and improving ourselves. Another one of my favorite verses comes from Romans 12.2. It says, do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and improve what God's will is, his good and pleasing and perfect will. I love this verse because it really shows that God wants the best for us and his way is perfect. So if we just follow his path, then this will lead to peace and fulfillment in our life. So how do we know if we're following God's will? How do we know if we're going the right way? I mean, if being uncertain and not having clarity is the thing that brings the most worries in our life. Philippians 4, 6-7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So you see here, God wants us to pray and meditate on his word to find the answer. He says, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. And knock and the door will be opened to you. In Matthew 7, 7-12. I love that verse because it's so promising. And as long as we ask and we're seeking, God will open the door for us and he will answer our prayers. Another thing is when we pray, we're focusing so much on what we are praying for and we're praying to God. So it really actually, it takes out all of those negative and toxic thoughts and God allows us to be filled with new thoughts and he reassures us of his love and his promises as we read the word he he shows us and he teaches us that we are not alone in this and that we should not fear and we should not worry that he's with us so many amazing promises that we have through the word we can start to believe in ourselves more and delight in our life even through the hardships because the process of growth is really fulfilling we can see our transformation over time and if we look back to see how we've grown, it brings a lot of joy. So that's what we should focus on instead of the things that we're struggling with and um, all the worries and those things that I mentioned before. And sometimes we have to also detox ourselves from negative people. Do you have any friends that are constantly complaining or negative or maybe just a bad influence? Is it worth it? To hold on to those people or is it time to um, start cutting out people that are actually maybe harmful to you or unhealthy maybe unhealthy relationships psalm 1 says blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the seat of mockers but his delight is in the law of the lord and on his law he meditates day and night so when we cut off all those negative people, people that cause us to go down the wrong path, and then we fill our thoughts with the word of God and meditate on that, and also form relationships with people that will only bring you up and help you in your life, not people that will bring you down. In summary, the way to detox your mind is through cutting out certain toxic thoughts and toxic people, enjoying life in the present, being thankful, and meditating on the Word of God. So how often do we need to detox our mind? Well, I would say that we should detox our mind every single day, and maybe multiple times a day, morning and night. And how do you detox the mind? Well, it's by putting God first in your life and having His Word as your thoughts instead of all your negative thoughts and worries put his word into your mind and take out all the other negative things that are distracting you from what it is that you're called to do with your life and lastly be prayerful and thankful always throughout your day just thank god for what he's done for you now 
I've talked to you about how to detox your body and your mind. And both of these are actually linked to detoxing your spirit. Because through detoxing our body and mind, our spirit is also becoming clean. So in the next video, I'm going to talk about the spirit. Like, what is the spirit exactly? And how do we have a clean spirit? Now, I pray that everything that I've shared so far helps you to renew your mind and see every single day as a blessing. Now, go and celebrate yourself because you are precious and valuable. All right, have a great day and I will see you for how to detox your spirit.